Hey, what's going on you guys? Welcome back to another checklist vlog. This video is going to take place in Seattle. I'm back in Ontario now. But let's go check out some grunge music locations and see what the heck they're all about. All right, let's get into it. All right, you guys, we are here at Easy Street Records. This is rated one of the top 10 record stores in the US. Right here, Pearl Jam has played live, a ton of live bands, but let's go in, check it out, and see if we can pick up some records. Sick. This music heaven opened up in 1988, and it is a staple of not only Seattle music culture, but also all over the world. The building is jam-packed with great records, CDs, cassettes, and after expanding for more space, you can also stop and grab some of the food from the cafe. There's a ton of history that lines the four walls of this building. You can buy all your Pearl Jam shirts, mugs, stickers, hats, magnets, everything. But it is also used as a live venue for countless acts. So I'll just name a few. You got Lou Reed, Elvis Costello, Kings of Leon came and played here, as well as Franz Ferdinand, Lana Del Rey, Dirk Bentley, and of course Pearl Jam. So one of the things that was on the checklist of going to Seattle was going to check out the gum wall. This is one of the craziest things I've ever seen in my entire life and it smelled really weird. It was just wild to see all these vibrant colors on the walls. Definitely have to go check it out again and make sure my gum is still there. So the whole gum wall situation started when people started to take their gum out of their mouth and put it on the side of the wall as they were walking into the theater that's located in the alleyway. And now every couple years they have to scrape the walls but the gum just keeps accumulating. All right, you guys, we made it to our second location. This right here is a Black Dog Forge. This is an old rehearsal studio where Pearl Jam and Soundgarden used to rehearse some of their tunes. We can't get in right now, it's closed, but it's super cool just to see the everyday, like, huge bands. You should just walk down this alleyway and come in and rehearse the songs that we now know as classics. It's, it's absolutely wild standing here. Check out this sick sculpture right here. It's like a dude who's like skating, but he's like hammering iron. Heavy metal. Yeah, I'd say iron work. I mean, all down this alleyway, they are super cool graffiti all along the walls. I'll show you some of it real quick. I mean, it totally fills that, that grunge look for sure. It, it looks so wild through that gray door right there is where Pearl Jam and Soundgarden would have rehearsed. So cool. This is just the tip of the iceberg of music history in this city. Just wanted to add something quick into the video. If anybody's looking to go to Black Dog Forge and check it out, you are unable to go actually into the building. You're able to look outside, but it's closed off to the public now, but still a pretty cool place to check out. All right, you guys, so since I'm in Ontario, I can't do the scratch off poster. I didn't bring it with me, but I do have this book. It's a thousand and one movies that you need to see before you die. I don't know, I, I, I'm gonna use an online generator and we're gonna see which movie we need to watch this week. All right, let's get into it. All right, so after the generator has stopped, we hit 171 as you guys can see. So, the movie we are watching this week is How Green Was My Valley. It's directed by John Ford in 1941. It won for Best Picture and John Ford took home the Oscar for Best Director. Uh, there's a ton of other Oscar winners here and a ton of Oscar nominations as well. All right, you guys, that's about all I have for you. As per usual, I'll see you in the next video. Go out, have yourselves a great week, and I'll meet up with you next time. Peace. Peace.